5200 over the limit for the gauge. And we blew an O ring out of there. Well, I don't, it wasn't that high whenever I just walked over here. We have built a blast chamber where we're going to apply up to 10,000 pounds of pressure to see if we can blow them apart in our own studio. Now this fitting is sponsored by Quick Fitting. We teamed up with Quick Fitting because like I said, they flew us up to their facility. Then when I started playing with the numbers about how much money companies could save on labor and materials in the long run, I got to tell you, I decided to team up with them. Anyway, check this out and tell me what you think. Now make sure you hang around to the very end because here's my favorite part about this whole thing. And look, I love working with Push to Connect fittings, but what about solder? As you see, we made a piece here that we're gonna put in the blast chamber and see what it takes to blow apart a joint or the piece of copper. So after we do the pecs, after we do everything else, we'll do just copper, then we're gonna go to solder. So the copper's all rated at over a thousand pounds of pressure and well, the PEX is rated at 160. So we're gonna go way above that. We're not just wanting to test the pipe, we wanna test the two different brands of fittings and see how they compare. In our blast chamber, we built a test rig. Now, this is all quick fitting right here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take a quick fitting 90 and a shark bite 90, a quick fitting coupling, a shark bite coupling, a quick fitting cap and a shark bite cap, and then we're gonna apply pressure and see what happens. Let's get all this put together, show you how we do it, then we're gonna jump over there and see what we can blow apart. Now, there's gonna be a little bit more cleaning going for a solder joint because you're gonna have to sand it down to apply flux and get it all ready. You're also gonna have to clean the inside of your fittings, that way you get a good clean solder joint. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is get these ready at this point just to show you how much quicker it is than an actual solder joint. So now we're gonna take one of each and I'm actually gonna put shark bite on the right, quick fitting on the left. We're gonna get in there, I don't know which is which. You can really tell by looking. I just wanna make it easy for you. We'll start with red just for the fun of it. So I am going to take the insert fitting, put it in, it goes all the way in, line it up just like we would and push together. Now, as you can see, the insert fitting is already there on the chart bite all the way in on it. Now, I want you to think about that. We would have just made, just with what we just put together right here, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 solder joints. How much time would that have taken you? It probably took me about a minute to push everything together. Now, is it something everybody's gonna use one day? Probably not. If you're a homeowner or if you're a plumber that Maybe you've got these on your truck and you don't have every fitting you need for a solder joint. This may give you an option to do something else while you're there. So now that I've got everything put together, let's slide all this down. We're going to go over to the blast chamber, put it in, pressurize it up and see what happens. So as you can see, we've got the slow motion camera in place. We've got a GoPro down in the blast chamber with a microphone. We've got another GoPro up here. We've got our gauge. It was reset. I'm gonna hit the air, we're gonna hit the camera and see what happens this time. So if we need to do well, all, all I copper. I figured this was actually gonna blow the pipe out. It's kind of realistically what I was more hoping Well, for. and considering this is ready for 160. Yeah. And we just went up to 1,000 and none of the pipe gave away. That's it. it so it's kind of mind blowing for me, but that's cool. I mean, that's good. So if you look at what happened, the shark bite literally blew the insides completely out. The insert was laying down in the thing and all the little pieces. Now the stainless steel ring is still in place but it blew all the retainer clips completely out. This T is still in place, already been used, so we understand that. So if it does matter, remember, this has already been pressure tested to almost a thousand pounds. And we've tested with PEX pipe. So now, well, we're gonna do it with just copper pipe and see what it does. Yeah, I know, I see. Okay. Pressure's still not coming up. 
What's that? Keep bouncing like 350, 450. Okay. All right, so as you see, this time we had a little bit different results. Our Shark Bite 90 blew out at 900 PSI. It didn't blow apart, it just started leaking and spraying real hard. And the cap on the quick fitting started dripping. Now, we're not sure if the movement, we're not sure what caused what. Let me see what we have in here that we can play with to see if we can do anything else here. All right. Let's go see what happens. Let's do it. What did we go I ran eight ninety seven, uh, but it was climbing so fast that it didn't I know. have time it, to it, register. It, it was. Good job. Like one thousand nine ninety six. Nineteen hundred. Yep, nineteen ninety seven. Cool. So. Almost 2,000. Tighten the pressure. 4,700, 4,800. 5,000. 5,200 over the limit for the gauge. It's as high as it'll let me go, 5,500 PSI. It doesn't look like it because it's not, I can't increase the pressure. Bust your copper a different way, boys. Pull it. That fence tries to cut out too. Because it was a flat calf, right? It wasn't bold at all. <laughs> So putting stuff in the blast chamber, this is something that we love to do. And through every one of them, as you see, quick fitting actually outperform shark bite. Pressure wise, and just the fact that, yeah, it sprung a leak, but we couldn't even get it to blow apart. Now, this was fun. Remember though, this video was sponsored by Quick Fitting. If it's something you wanna learn more about, go to quickfitting.com and click on it and check out their products. And the fact that they have a 75 year warranty and the other brand has a 25 year warranty, that ought to tell you a lot right there. Now, one of my favorite things, this is something I've always wanted to do. 6,800 PSI and the solder joints didn't even give. It blew out the cap. It stretched it out and made it thin and then popped it open like a pop top, just psh. This was a lot of fun. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this. If you love this video, you're really gonna love the next one.